Alors, congèle, jaune et vert euh, Attendez un petit peu, il va me dire action. Action Action, action yeah, C'est parti, yeah. Alors, des courgettes vertes, oui. Et des jaunes Et des jaunes, voilà. voilà. On va faire un petit mélange avec mes Saint-Jacques poêlés, ça va être super. Excellent. Le et choix est judicieux. Vous avez des jolies tomates. Mais une comme euh, ça Une comme ça. Une, une rouge Une rouge, et puis et un petit mélange. Ou... Non, qu'est-ce qu'on a vu mélange, un, un petit comme mélange, un petit mélange. Oui, voilà. Et, voilà. et j'en ai deux pour trois. Ben, la troisième est gratuite. Troisième est gratuite Et voilà. Ça en fait trois. Vous me faites un cadeau Eh oui, on fait des cadeaux. We have a present today. We, we only buy two of these tomatoes and we have the, the third uh, uh, little box for, for, uh, for free. So that's great. Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Merci. C'est tout ce qu'il vous fallait C'est tout ce qu'il me faut. Merci beaucoup. Eh ben voilà, je ouais. prie. Merci. Ça vous fera un compte horrible, ça fait 6 millions d'euros. 6 millions d'euros. Oh là là. <laughs> Il va falloir que je travaille pour Single Mall TV plus. <laughs> Demandez une augmentation, on la partagera. Ouais, ouais, voilà. <laughs> Merci. So there are two kinds of mushrooms here, wild mushrooms of course, les cèpes and the girol. I'll take more girol than cèpe, but I will take two cèpes just to give the texture. They, they, they're quite, they give a sort of creamy juice which will be very good with the girol. But I prefer the taste of the girol. And that will go with the scallops that we're going to buy a little later. And of course, there will be a little, a little piece of cream. Normandy comes back again, but uh, a girol go. You could have a, a chicken, but uh, I think scallops will be really nicer for me. So, uh, girol with cream, and a, a little uh, pinch of nutmeg, and the scallops. And then uh, we'll have an Isla whiskey. We'll take a colila with uh, scallops, and I explain how we're going to do that later on. So the scallops poêlé, uh, Saint Jacques sauté, avec poêlé de champignons. That will be yummy. Now we're going to enter la brûlerie des ternes, which is. Uh, where I buy my coffee and you know whiskey is all about aromas and the, the aromas you get in this shop is just one out just wonderful and uh, I buy my coffee there and I have a special taste for my coffee I want a mocha from Ethiopia and there are two kinds of, of mocha there's the sidamo which is the most uh, spreadly um, circulated one and there's also the arar and my favorite is the arar because it's 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 fruity but it's very it's quite powerful quite pungent but in a, in a very elegant way and that's uh, the one i choose to to match with uh, uh, sherried whiskey like Glen Farclas uh, after you have your cup of mocha aha and then your dram of, of uh, Glen Farclas and uh, or Dalmore uh, to please uh, my friend Richard Patterson who is a great fan of coffee as well and of course you'll have a chocolate but the chocolate we'll see that for later. Uh, I hope they still have my Aha coffee. It's a long time since I went to this uh, Brûlerie des Ternes. But the freshly roasted uh, coffee gives you, fills your, your nose with these wonderful aromas that you find in whiskey. So uh, this is the place to go. So let's go in and I hope I'll be pleased with my mocha Aha. Vous avez du mocha Aha? Oui, bien sûr, mocha Aha d'Ethiopie. Ah oui, ça c'est vraiment, vraiment le meilleur. They have it, I knew they would have it, I knew. Alors je vais prendre euh, bah, 250 grammes. Oui, 250 grammes. Mm. Oh, ça c'est, ça c'est bon, ça c'est vraiment super. Super. Oui. C'est des grands crus. Ah c'est des grands crus et, et le, c'est vrai que beaucoup de gens connaissent le sidamo, bon, qui est, est bon, grand. mais le moi je préfère ah, le harar. And in fact, harar means crazy horse. Uh, so it's quite a sexy coffee, but nothing to do with a cabaret crazy horse. Far better, I would think, for me. Vous le désirez moulu? Moulu, oui, pour uh, genre Melita. Genre Et en fait, je, je goûte jamais les autres parce que j'aime tellement le, le harar. Que... <rire> oh, ils ont tous des petits goûts particuliers. Vous avez des petits goûts, euh, même pour les petits carrières de noisettes, un peu caramélisé. Ah ouais. J'habitais avant dans le quartier, donc ouais. Euh, ouais, maintenant je ne suis plus là. Et, 
Et donc, euh, good place to buy foie gras here, but I will not uh, buy foie gras d'oie, the goose one. I prefer the duck one. So I buy f uh, foie gras, uh, the canard, a uh, duck foie gras for the figs and the and the Balvenie port food for the starter. Well, to, tonight I choose to have a fish dinner because I just because I picked up the right T-shirt to do my shopping, and so we're not going to have meat. But uh, meat is very good here too. And later in the season, they have what I absolutely hate. They display a lot of of game because it's the hunting season. It will start end of September and I don't play the game. I don't play the game. I don't like game at all. And I know it goes well with whiskey and you can do splendid, superb matchings, but I never eat game because I just love Bambis. Bambis? I love Bambis and I love uh, little birds and uh, you know, when I'm on Isla, I can see them nearly in my garden and if they eat my flowers, doesn't matter because they're just too lovely. So then we'll never be in my plate. Mes jolies courgettes, oui, oh mademoiselle, y en a plein pour vous partout, oui, oui. Achetez donc mes jolies courgettes, alléluia, elles sont bonnes. <laughs> <rire> c'est super. C'est dommage, je suis obligé de faire semblant d'acheter parce que. Mais ça fait rien, jeune fille, c'est pour le plaisir. Mais c'est super. Oh Marco Oui, Geronimo Allez, jeune Super, fille. merci beaucoup. Now we come to the main dish. Uh, we'll do some scallops. It's the start of the season for scallops. It will be the full season in November, October, November. But these ones are really beautiful. So we, in France, we eat the scallops with the orange part and in most countries it's taken out and there's, it's quite controversial. Some people say that it doesn't have a taste. For me, I think it has a real good taste. Um, I, I really like it and I know that Americans don't eat it and they give it to, to the pets. Uh, for pet food, uh, lucky pets, and um, as my grandmother would say, they don't know what is good, but, uh, but that's a matter of taste anyway. And I, I, I will pan fry the, the scallops with, take some of the good butter and olive oil, make, make a mix of it, the good butter we had at the cheese shop, and um, just pan fried very simply with uh, grated gin ginger and a little lime uh, juice also. And the trick, I cook my scallops very simply. I just uh, pan fry them and then I deglaze them. That's the trick. Deglaze them with probably colilla uh, because it has a little tinge of vanilla, uh, which, is, which goes very well with the sweetness of, uh, of the scallop. So deglaze, you just pour a good dash, maybe two spoonful, two, three spoonful in your pan when you've taken your scallops out and uh, the juice mingle. And then uh, you have also the, 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 a little uh, a grated ginger, which stays in the pan. And all this makes a lovely sauce, very small, short sauce, but lovely. And you could also, if you want, go uh, for uh, just a, a few um, grain from the vanilla pods. Just insist on the vanilla. Uh, the, the scallops have a, a slight hazelnut taste, which will also be very nice with the pétoncle. The pétoncle is like a tiny, uh, tiny scallops. It's very small, the same family, but the taste is different. The pétoncle has a, a more sweeter taste. So we'll take uh, just uh, um, maybe, I don't know, just 200 grams with it, with our scallops. I don't know how many we're going to be. I think we're going to be 10 million at the dinner tonight, so we need to buy a little more. That's great. What I like in this place is that you can really do your shopping for the whole meal here. You can buy your wine and your whiskey and uh, all your food. And it's so much nicer than going in these uh, uh, supermarkets where the food is dead, uh, wrapped into plastic. And uh, I mean, we don't want that. I really hope 
uh, that uh, we will we will keep that in front all these market streets uh, in big cities and uh, there's nothing like it I mean this is part of the attraction when you visit a city like Paris you must spend some time in a market and buy whatever you want and uh, do a picnic uh, restaurants are nice but have your own picnic buy a bottle of wine buy cheese bread butter and there's nothing to beat that.